Hey everyone, uh, this is a video about uh, one of the tools that I really like using. Uh, it's called Raycast and it's also a very difficult one to actually take a video about. Um, so I had to actually <laughs> use my Tana to uh, keep some notes there to ensure that I actually show you all of the little things. So uh, the first off, let's, let's go and look at their website. So in order to, to do some stuff, you already see me using Raycast. Uh, while doing this. So Raycast is basically, uh, it's a shortcut launcher uh, and it does quite a bit. And recently they also introduced a lot of AI stuff. Um, but let's go back into what it actually does. So the basics is this little window. And from this window you can, well, you can launch any app. So for instance, this is the way I launch Tana. But it does much more than that. And in order to show you properly, um, let's go through each one of these and I'll show you how I actually use it during my day. So the first thing I use quite a bit is the calculator. Um, and even though it's a, such a stupid simple thing, having it behind a single key, just do 100 plus 100 and you get the result. The cool part here is that when you press enter, it actually copies it uh, right onto your clipboard, which you can use there. Um, What's more interesting, I have quite a bit of time zones. So uh, for instance, to this uh, is a very easy way to say, hey, this event is at 12 a.m. And at what time will that be in PST? And the same works for, for currency. So how much is 300 uh, USD D to Euro? And it will do currency uh, transfers. So quite a useful little tool. And then I configured a couple of shortcuts. So for me, I often use my screen either on the left or on the right uh, as a maximum or, and this is less, less common, almost maximized. And I bound these to uh, these shortcuts. So when you go into Raycast, you can actually go to uh, say left half and you can see here, there's a shortcut assigned to it. When you press command K and you go into the configure uh, command then you'll see it's selected here and here you can record your hotkey so just simply tap it and do the key that you want in order to get to that position of course you can customize it any way you want I tend to um, slowly add hotkeys as I go along and build muscle memory like this I have two more that I use a lot I have option option which is really cool because you have a double option. And basically this is all of the stuff that I've copied to uh, the clipboard. Um, so for instance, this is a little image and when you press enter and then in Tana, I just paste it. There we go. We have the image of my latest video I made for Tana. Now this is useful in so many little occasions. The, the next one is control control. And this is basically an emoji picker and a symbol picker. So yeah, mind blown. Uh, very easy, very quick to get like symbols in there. Also these symbols like um, the, the command, which are super difficult, of course, always to, to find and never I can remember the, the proper key vote for. And then I have one uh, and that's hyper T and that's because I'm a heavy arc user and arc has this amazing thing that if I press um, command T, it will search through all of the URLs and basically everywhere I've ever been. Uh, and I wanted something like that, but all across the system. So for instance, when I'm in the Tana app, I want to have that same functionality. So I linked it to my uh, Raycast and you can do exactly the same. In this case, if I want to go to Claude, I simply do this and it will open Claude in my arc. Awesome. Um, and then we go into some of the extensions and uh, the features there. So these are the ones that I use the most. Uh, there are so many of them and you can download them using the Raycast store. Uh, they're all free uh, and most of them are actually open source. I think all of them are open source. And here you can also select specific categories if you like. I keep playing with adding more uh, extensions to see if they can be useful for me. Let's go through some of these. So 
one of the things that I use a lot is Spotify. When I do search, uh, I will often be searching for a specific song or a specific vibe. So for instance, I want to so search for some lo-fi, then you can just go through here. If you command um, uh, go down, you go through podcasts or shows or things and simply one enter and it starts playing, uh, which I won't do now because I also get a copyright claim. Now, next up is the download managers. Uh, one of the things that happens quite a bit is, for instance, you go into, um, let's say, uh, ChatGDP uh, or something, and we download a little file. Uh, so here we have an anime scene creator. I don't know what this was. Uh, this is from, from one of my friends. If I download this file, it will go into my downloads. But what if I want to paste it in here? Now I have this little app here called Dropover, which is also very useful. Um, but I also have Raycast in this case uh, to do something like copy latest download. And then when you paste it, uh, that little image will go in here. So very useful. You can also do manage downloads and you can just go through all of the little downloads that you did over the time. And again, just simple enter and it's back. Next up, Arc itself. I already showed you. You can uh, search through everything with a single hotkey. Uh, but there's some other stuff that you can actually do, which I use less, but uh, it's there. You can search the downloads, but those are the downloads from Arc only. Open a new window, open a new tab, that kind of stuff from wherever you are in the system. Then Slack, which I put under a specific hotkey. Uh, this is my company Slack, and I basically use it to quickly go to a specific person to open Slack and chat with them. I won't do it now because it will show the conversation. Uh, but just a very quick way to get to a specific person. Then maybe the most important thing in life, um, celebrating stuff. Pressing confetti will show confetti um, in, uh, in wherever you are. So if you're sharing your screen or you want to celebrate something, this is a great little thing. And then finally, there's the AI feature. Uh, I use it not as much because I have so many AI tools now. Uh, but it is very useful that you can just type in something, a very quick question like um, what is the color of the sea and press tab and then it will ask the AI. In this case, it will say the color of the sea is blue. Now, the cool part here is that you can also select uh, different models. You can um, continue the chat in a separate one. And here we go. And you can select all of the models that are available. Now, this uh, feature with the, um, uh, with the AI, that's one of the features of the Pro Raycast, but everything I showed beforehand is based in the, the free version. So I really recommend you, uh, you download it and you try it out to see if it works for you. So again, quick video on Raycast.